Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, it's me Vishnu and you are watching Omni Studio series and in this session we are going to learn about the lookup input element which is pretty important element uh, when we are uh, building some forms. So I'm going to create a new Omni script for it. So I'll call it lookup input element same goes in type and subtype. And in this lookup element, like you can utilize this for like as a lookup, obviously as its name suggests, and also you can utilize this as a pick list. And I would say more advanced pick list. So in previous video, if you have seen that we we did utilize select uh, where we were able to get the field uh, field pick list values, right? Uh, we will able to do the same in this example, uh, but with more advanced features. Okay, so now we have a over omni script here, and I'll go here, and I will drop down three lookups uh, because we have like three kind of configuration in lookup. So let's start with the first one, which is over custom lookup, and what is the mean of custom right here? So if you see, we have couple of options here required read only clear value and then we have data source type right? so the data source type if we select custom right then it will ask you uh, for the class name and the method name so we already built one class and I'll show you right away uh, how that class looks like but we already built that class in like last our example for pick list options and we can utilize the same kind of data structure to uh, to this lookup uh, field. So we have this class called my pick list options. Uh, and just to give an uh, idea of it, like what it does that it implements the velocity open interface uh, class, and then it should have a method called invoke method. And then, uh, then we can, call this class and we can pass these methods name and then we can check like which method is being called and based on that we can return the data right and the way salesforce uh, lookup option or select option expect the data is in this way right so it is expecting a list of map of a string of a string right so here i am iterating through the all the account records and then i'm adding name and value something like this in this map and then i'm adding this map into the list that we have here right and then the output map uh, variable parameter rights which we are getting then we are appending the uh, or adding one more key and values right which is options and the passing the list that we have here right and if we have like another method name and if we want to do something like that then we can like have like method name dot equals contact name and it can be anything right it depends what you are passing right so i will show you this how we pass these names and also i will attach this class into the description of the video right so you can copy it as it is and then you can modify it right so the syntax would be like your class name and the method name that you are passing it's not the apex method uh, typical apex method it's just a kind of uh, input element or a parameter okay so now i will go and i will preview it so basically it should when i click on it right it should fetch all the data uh, from the account so you can see that right so we are getting as soon as i've select parameter construction it will give me the uh, the id of the account and yes it it don't work in a way that we see lookups in salesforce right you can't type anything here right so it will just work as soon as you click on it it will get you the data so this was our custom data source uh, based lookup now the next one is the pick list okay so here we have an option pick list filter by record type right so in the normal select list you don't have option for pick list filter by record type but here you do have right so here you will specify 
the uh, your object and the field name so for example if you don't have the any record type right in your object right so you should always type as a master here it is not showing there that it is required but it is kind of required if you don't pass it it might not work right so you see we are getting new working a skeleton and closed so if you select something you will get the values right so, so it is out of box so i'll show you uh, one more example with the account field so i'll open account object now and with this omni studio developer environment that i created uh, from the trailhead i got like bunch of record types in the account object so here we have like uh, a multiple record types in this account object and you can use any of the object which you want to prefer uh, and what i did is uh, i am utilizing a pick list called account source and then i removed few few of the uh, values from that record type right so like let's if i go back and i'll put account source in the field and i'll keep the master for now right so it will work with with, with the default uh, record type so if i go back and see like uh, we are seeing like five options right and if i go back and if i pass the record type agency brokerage and this is important thing again it expect the your record type label or name right not the developer name so if i if i show you this so this is your label right and this was the field so if you see for this record type and this pick list uh, we have around like three or four values you see this we have web phone inquiry and partner referral right? now if i go and click on pick list we will see only three values so this feature is not available in this standard pick list right it is only available in this lookup now we have third data source type for the lookup visit which is your s object and this have a lot of capabilities but let's go one by one okay the first thing that you need to do is you define it as a data source type as a s object and then you need to define the lookup query configuration okay, you need to define your lookup object so here i'm defining your my lookup object is account and the field that i want right i want to uh, filter on like so i will filter on name okay and then like and i will say with single quotes i will say ed so we have like uh, dummy accounts already created with this org which is like edge limited something like that so i will keep it ed and the json path right so whatever data you get it from this query where it should go so it should go into the accounts node okay so basically what we are saying select id from account where name like ed okay and that data should go into account json path okay. so now we are so once this query happens and once user click on it right it this will query it always right so we will get the data in accounts now we need to define because it is it is working as a pick list right it should have the label it should have the value so we need to define where we have the value where we have the uh, label right so label uh, the value which is in our case it will be id in, in your case you can keep it anything right so accounts the same right it is case sensitive and the name okay let's go and let's run it so if you see we are getting uh, accounts right and because we gave the hard-coded ed right so it's just edge combination united ed we have the united oil right so it is working right so this was simplest example now now we will have one more query configuration and how it will work is that i will add the query for contact
and the field again I will add as a first name and like and then I saw one of the content called ND so I will keep it AN here and I will give the same path because your source can be anything but your destination needs to be one right because here you can define it only once so here what we are saying select id and name from contact and where first name like an okay and that is going into the accounts the same node okay so let's go and let's uh, check it out so if you see this it is not working now the reason is that we have this lookup order and we have defined the both the lookup order on the same right so it should be if it is if it is one then other one should be two like if and you can you can update it right so now let's go and let's preview it so you see this first four are accounts then we have the contacts and if you change the lookup order like if you make it one and if you make it two then you should get the contacts first and then the accounts like so you can see we have contact first if i say, click on it you can see we are getting the contact id which is starting from 003 and if I click on United Oil, then we are getting ID from 001, which is your account ID. Okay. So this was moreover hard coded and uh, hard coded thing, right? And now we want that if user enters something on UI, right? And we should utilize that data rather than putting it hard coded, right? So we had ED, ED hard coded. So we don't want that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I will put a text box here. search data obviously it should not have the uh, space because it's variable search data okay and I'll go back to the s object setting so here we have input parameters and you can in you have multiple which is fine as well so you need to define your data source so my data source is search data so whatever you are entering here it should go to the filter value and you can keep the filter value uh, name anything but i would suggest keep it as a variable name and uh, uh, so i'll keep it as a, like same kind of thing or let's keep it search data txt okay so we don't get confused between this and this okay. and even though uh, it can work with the spaces right but i would suggest not to do that and keep it as a variable names right without a spaces now here rather than providing filter values add this variable here search data text okay let's do the same thing for the second one as well okay. now let's go back so we are not getting anything because we haven't typed anything right so let me do this ed right so we are getting contacts adword right so if i click on it you can see that and we are definitely getting some accounts as well based on this right so as soon as uh, you click on it it will filter based on whatever you have provided here and it can be a complex uh, data structure but definitely if there is something that you are not able to achieve through this uh, uh, out of box then definitely you have a way to go through the custom and uh, write your code as you want okay uh, so that's pretty much it on your data source type but there is one important thing which is your clear value right uh, there is a checkbox right what does that mean so let me show you this so if you click any of the pick list and like if you click uh, select united oil right and once you click again it will remove the data and then will give you the pick list right so if you see this here i have selected united role and custom uh, if you see the id that we have here right as soon as i click on it it becomes null 
and it removes the data from here as well okay so this is what clear value does if you uncheck it and i unchecked it for the price object i will uncheck it for the custom one so first i'll select acme okay now i click on it so you see this we are not losing our data here neither we are losing our data here right so if i select something else it will just update uh, the data here and the data here so that's pretty much it on the lookup input element um, and i will attach this uh, data pack uh, in the description of the video as well as that fx class in the uh, in the description so see you in next session bye bye